Hello and welcome to another Red Resurrection 1v1. This is, uh... No, it's not. I was going to say something that's not true, so I'll stop myself. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so... Sorting out my sound here. So, here's me. It's another, uh... First-person view of me playing. And I'm against Admiral Pitt here. Who's playing as a team, I don't remember. I think he's playing as Confederate... No, he's playing as Yugoslavia. You'll see when he uh, destroys me with uh, some Yugoslavian units. And I'm playing as Confederation, I think. Um, so I think this is kind of a, an interesting match, maybe a good one to watch because uh, you get to see, uh, you know, good use of uh, some Yugoslavian units and some even better use of confederation units, maybe. This is on uh, a map called uh, Suspect, and you know it's a little, little bit of rush into the middle, but uh, not so much now that the uh, the tech buildings in the middle have been walled off. So you can't just get there with an engineer; you have to actually, you know, destroy the sandbags, which does make a big difference, and that's a, a sort of map theme, design theme that I've uh, kind of gone with. Now I've started rolling off, and there's a lot of uh, units, a lot of dogs. I can keep my uh, NG in a safe place. Now I'm desperately trying to destroy the uh, sandbags. <laughs> and the sandbags don't die. Literally, the sandbags didn't die. There's still sandbags there. So, uh, yeah, didn't manage to secure the middle. It's not the end of the world. My engineer's still just hiding there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully something like line of sight exists, because uh, otherwise he's dead. Dead guy. He's finishing off my uh, hard work. But I'm sending some more people down there just to block off the uh, exit or the entrance to my base, which is a little uh, narrow. Went straight for a, an airfield here. Uh, I'm not actually sure of exactly what I do in this game because it was a, a little while ago when I recorded this. But uh, going for some early yaks. And of course. Unit Scorcher ready. harassment. Building. Unit ready. Got to keep your enemy on their toes. Don't let them uh, get away with anything. Comrade. At least uh, that's, the, uh, that's the plan. Let's see what happens with these. Just uh, three. Unit. And I am going for economy after that, so not uh, too heavy. But I did mix in a couple of terror drones there, so uh, if they don't get wasted, they may be able to. Um, cause an issue with uh, some, some war miners. Am I going to be able to get anything? Because he does have some defensive forces here. Wasting some shots and units there. I think... I think I'm going to get the uh, the war factory. Yes, just got the war factory. So uh, that's a nice pick off early game. Uh, slows him down. Look at those scorchers, they're pretty dead, but uh, I I think that's probably it. We'll clean up uh, those. Not even going to look. No point. Got my four yaks though already. Good thing about yaks is that they are only uh, a thousand credits, so cheaper than. Uh, actually, they have the, the cheapest aircraft in the game, so. Very good. Going to fly over the uh, refinery. They're not great against buildings, but uh, not, not totally terrible. A um, few more runs of that, and I might be able to take it out. Or at least uh, keep him on edge, keep him spending his money repairing it. Fake war factory already. So, uh, maybe he'll think I'm going heavy into production and uh, heavier than I am. Which is, you know, a nice deception, but it's also uh, <laughs> when you think about it, it's kind of uh, kind of cheating myself as well because it probably would be better if I did have a second war factory. But uh, to have the power, so I'm going for a nuclear reactor. 
Collecting the ore. Complete. We uh, need Let's start an to uh, build some more miners. I always seem to fall behind really on uh, on harvesting. I'm just going to avoid uh, avoid those bunkers. Uh, he could capture the uh, the missile silo, and I'm not going to get him, which is a shame. He just he just spotted it. So that's good on him. He's got uh, a hammer tank there and uh, some infantry. But uh, scorchers are fast. Not fast enough though to uh, to sneak around, but uh, can try and take out the oil derrick. It doesn't look like he's actually going to try and defend there, but uh, run away from <laughs> run away from that. Building. So not a bad pick off, but he does have a lot of hammer tanks now, so they will shred those scorchers and uh don't think I lost any yaks there. Did manage to do do deal good damage to the um to the war factory, took out the barracks. I think there's is there a yeah, there's no there's a bomb that just went off there on my infantry, didn't didn't kill everything, which is quite good. Don't think I'm gonna get the uh, the war factory just yet. Because uh, that flak, that uh, bunker is full of uh, flak troopers. Oh no, I'm not going to get this. Am I? Am I going to get this? Am I going to get this? Anybody? Am I going to get this? Oh, he sell he sells it. So you know, whatever, still counts. Flamethrowers in there. I forgot about that. I should have probably deployed them. Actually, that would have. Damage the uh, the war factory faster than just the the rockets. Uh, scor scorches and flamethrowers together, they're pretty good against buildings. So I've kind of kept him on the back foot, but he does have the Solaris uh, comm center up there. So uh, I don't know what that is desperate desperate attempt, I guess, because I I think I just rem remembered that he has the uh, missile silo, so. In a few minutes, Unit it will ready. be ready. Construction options. Construction complete. Uh, fake refinery. Unit fake refinery ready. is actually, uh, I think, pretty useful because they they look like they're full of ore, so they often get, do get targeted by enemies, and that is a lot of units. Unit Guess he's doing better on economy than me, but uh, too sure. Am I, am I going to be able to get this? Nope. Solaris, run, run from Unit the Solaris. Ready. I don't even know if I spotted that or not, but uh, look at that. Lost, lost a big chunk of my army there. Unit ready. Building. Waiting order. Unit lost. Moving out. New construction. Which is too bad. I'm gonna have to pull back. Conscript reporting. Unit ready. Order received. Ah, and there are gems down there. Yeah, I think he was uh, harvesting those. And, uh, it wasn't really. Uh, Aware of it or thinking about it. Construction complete. Cannot be here. Yes, Commander. Checking designs. Waiting orders. Moving out. But there are gems down here too. If I can survive, or if the outpost can survive. There's a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of Tesla elites there as well, which kind of sucks. Here comes some uh, some yaks though. Ooh, did not do good at all. <laughs> Barely took out any infantry. I think I, uh, I think I uh, shot my, uh, fired my guns too early there. Yeah, you you were in the way. Don't know what. Oh, I think that was the missile, cruise missile. Uh, I guess it killed my yaks, but uh, too expensive. Is he? I don't. <laughs> he does actually get that, which is a pain. Luckily, luckily, I did actually have a, a real ore refinery ready, but that wasn't. You know, I wanted to expand with it, so uh, it wasn't the best thing. Oh, oh, dog somehow missed. Luckily, I had the uh, the war. Miner there actually probably saved my ass because uh, if the Ivan managed to get in, they can cause some serious problems, especially when you don't have like enough anti-infantry around. Though, you know. 
I see they're not stopped. Oh, and also, as you can see in this uh, in this match, I'm playing with the uh, beautiful textless cameos uh, component, which you can download in the mod if you go to the mod options and then go to the components tab. You can actually just just install it uh, and uninstall it from there as well as an like an optional uh, DLC kind of thing, but it's free, so you know, too bad for me. But uh, little free add-on. More Ivans. I think he just. I don't know why he bombed his own Ivans there. I'm not sure what the plan was there, but. Uh, I, I, I don't think that does anything because uh, they already explode with the with the bomb bomb warhead anyway. So I don't think uh, it doesn't double up, to my knowledge. Spreading out a bit because uh, he does have the missile silo ready just about and he also has Solaris as well and I didn't notice until now that he does have the middle of the map which uh, I totally forgotten about so uh, you know a lot of issues in this game from me I think coming from la lack of uh, you know map awareness and uh, you know memory of, of, of maps in particular it does help a lot um, but it's also you know there's not a, there's not too much excuse for it these days when you've got the big map previews in the in the client because you pretty clearly see everything but wasn't being observant as usual and uh, look, look at those troops my uh, war miner is gonna harvest even in the face of death he has brought along uh, Rykovs which you know um, will probably kill my aircraft, but uh, well, not if I kill the Rykovs first. And they do get through enough just to. Um... Oh, that one's survived. But uh, yeah, they get through enough just to kill some infantry. Uh, oh, he's actually destroying the gems, which is the most, like, dickish move you could possibly make. I'm not even sure if I should allow that. Like, I don't, I don't really like that in the game. But it's, it's, you know, it's kind of interesting, but it's sort of just a bit lame. But um, flak troopers can destroy gems, and they did destroy all my gems. So you know, sort of the scorched earth kind of policy out of uh, Admiral Pitt there. Uh, I'm not sure what my war miners are doing there. I had a plan, I guess. I assume I had a plan. Come on, I must have had a plan. But, uh, and he has just launched his um, his cruise missile somewhere. Oh, probably at the uh, nuclear reactor, I guess. But I don't think they'll take it out. Whoa! Maybe not at the nuclear reactor, but uh, nearly. And uh, you know, as you can see, I think three war miners beats two, so probably not. Aha, and he actually uh, used the uh, Yugoslavian ability Polarity Swap, which um, inverts the damage that those the units affected by a deal, so actually those war miners would end up healing his tank. And, uh, yeah, my, my money situation is not looking good, my army situation is looking worse, because I actually have like no forces at all, although I think he's uh, not doing too great for that either. But he does have the map. And uh, I think I just lost a war miner for no reason. And a couple of observers there, which are the biggest pains in the arse. Arses. Uh, in this match. They're tough. Overseers, when you don't have the anti-air, overseers actually can be so powerful. It's, it's kind of hilarious. Unit ready. Orders, Building. I'm going. Unit ready. Bit of an uh, overlooked unit, I think. <laughs> Except in this game. Because there's like three of them now, and there'll be a hell of a lot more of them. But I think, to be honest, I'm pretty, uh, pretty dead. 
Already? Oh, I'm on the back foot, at the very least, and uh, don't have much of a plan to get out. Yep, here come the overseers. Christ on me. I don't know quite why I'm doing the bunkers there, but for some reason. It's like all my anti air gone, we being the flat troopers. Look at that hell on earth. Bloody overseers stopping my um, war miners from fleeing. And they're getting annihilated. So, <laughs> pretty much GG, I think, right here. Because I'm flat broke. And, uh,. Whoa, managed to get a terror drone in, but yeah. Look at those overseers. Kind of kind of ridiculous. But it's also kind of cool that a support unit can actually be used uh, so effectively, I think, in, uh, in offense. And I, and I don't see it done enough, which is partly why I uploaded this, uh, <laughs> this match at all. Because, uh, you know, people should build more overseers. Unit lost. They're deceptively powerful. Fucking <laughs> cruise missile. Um, the overseers can, I think, target basically every building, but they don't do anything to most buildings. Um, they, they should EMP buildings. Obviously, that's not going to affect. Although I don't. It does some reason it doesn't actually work on power plants. <laughs> I need to remember to look into that. Um, so it's not taking my power offline, although it. Theoretically, should. Um, I'm not sure whether that would be just be too powerful if it did work, but uh, that's the intent. Wouldn't do anything to uh, refinery though. Problem is, there's no like simple way of saying that they they can't attack buildings that can't be EMP'd. Uh, I'd have to, you know, set up a lot of, a lot of nonsense. <laughs> GG. I just observed.